always stays like this. First connect SMPS, that means main power connector and the processor connector. But today class is processor section, so this is a multimeter. Here we are checking only voltages. So that's why multimeter always use DC mode is enough. That is also from SMPS, highest voltage 12 volts only. So that's why multimeter always use in DC mode, that is 20 is enough. So next to black probe is connected to the ground. That means anywhere, this is also ground point, this one, this one, this one, this one. But every time always we are not inserting. So that's why this black, black probe you can connect it to the any black probe. Next always check with the red probe. Sir, always check with the red probe. Okay? First if you want to check any processor section, you must switch on the board. Otherwise the processor section is not working. Okay? First switch on. See now the board is on. Okay? If board is not on, you cannot check it. The processor section is working or not. If you want to check processor section is working or not, you must switch it. Now as per circuit diagram. Where is the circuit diagram? Already you have circuit diagram. By using this circuit diagram in processor section, where is the exactly problem? You can easily identify. First, this is the processor connection. Okay, so already we are identifying this is the processor connector. In processor connector, two yellow colors and two black colors on the Two yellow color and two black colors. Yellow color is showing 12 volts. Now see. 12 volts is coming now. And next one more yellow color that is also 12 volts. Yes. Next one is black. Black means ground 0. And again black 0. Again, 12 volts track is connected to the one coil. This coil input voltage is 12 volts and the coil output voltage is also 12 volts. So that's why it is called as a 12 volts coil. How to identify 12 volts coil in processor section? First identify how many coils are available in processor section. Compared to all coils, which coil is different? That is maybe color is different or maybe size is different or maybe whatever it may be. It is different color. Now see, one, two, three coils is there. Compared to three coils, this coil is different. Na? So this is the 12 volts coil. That coil pins are available back side. Always check back side. Again, coil output is connected to the polarizer capacitors. In circuit diagram, we are draw only two polarizer capacitors. But in live board, always identify how many polarizer capacitors. That is also a big one. So in this motherboard, one, two, three, four polarizer capacitors are available. This polarizer capacitor pins also available back side. You can check back side only. Okay. So now I am checking back side. See. Yeah, first one is coil. So this is the coil pin. If you touch any port, no shock, no problem. Okay. So this is the coil pin. Coil input voltage is how much? 12 volts. Type position. See, 12 volts. Coil output is? 12 volts. Next, coil output is connected to the polarizer capacitor. Na? 1, 2, 3, 4 capacitors. But in polarizer capacitor, one is plus, second one is minus. Minus always connected to the ground only. Always check plus pin only. So this is the minus pin. See minus is not showing. But check plus pin. See plus pin is showing 12 volts. Same as second capacitor. This is ground pin. This is the plus pin. Next one. This is the ground pin. This is the plus pin. And last one. Last capacitor. This is the ground one. This is the plus. 12 volts is showing. Different, different motherboards, different, different capacitors. That means some motherboards, maybe one 12 volts polarizer capacitor, some motherboards, maybe three or maybe four or maybe five, whatever it may be. By looking, we can easily identify. Always big capacitors are 12 volts polarizer capacitors at the government.
example. Next, capacitor output is connected to the phase. Already we are identifying 12 volts phase and 10 volts phase. Okay. So in this motherboard, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12 volts phase and 4, 10 volts phase is there. First come to 12 volts phase. 12 volts phase input voltage how much? 12 volts only. And 12 volts phase output voltage is? Processor voltage. Processor voltage is always 0 0.7 to 1. No second. volts fed input voltage see 12 voltage is coming and 12 volts fed output voltage so this is the processor voltage 0 0.7 to 1.8 between it is coming now okay and the next is same as second fed also that is the input voltage this is the output voltage same as third fed so this is the input voltage and this is the output voltage, fourth fit. This is the input voltage, 12 volts, and output processor voltage. Okay. Now all 12 volts fits are working. Next to come to 10 volts fit also. 10 volts fit input always 10 voltage. That one is coming from VRMIC. If 10 voltage is coming, that means 100 percent VRMIC is working. If input to 10 voltage is not coming. Maybe the problem with VRMIC only. But already we are identifying where is the 10 volts fit. So now I am checking 10 volts fit input voltage. See 10 voltage, 9.6. That means 10. Under 10 volts fit output, this is the ground VR. Yeah. 10 volts fit output. 0.9 to 1.8 output is coming now. So next is same as second fit. That is the output. So this is the input to 10 voltage. Same as third fit. Third fit input to 10. So wait, wait. Uh, third fit input to 10 voltage and output also processor voltage. 0 0.9 to 1. Point. Last one. Last 10 volts fit input to 10 voltage and output also processor voltage. Finally, check secondary section polarizer capacitor. But if any customer is coming problem with no display, okay? Yes, that time first check processor section is working or not by using shortcut method. What is the shortcut method? Finally, check all secondary section polarizer capacitors. All polarizer capacitors are showing processor voltage. Processor section perfectly working. But these pins are available back side only, na? you can check back side. this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is there same as this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay finally check but here also two pins is there any polarizer capacitor you have two pins one is plus second one is minus minus always ground only plus always showing voltage that is depends on section voltage See that is the ground pin processor voltage 0 0.7 to 1.8 next to ground next to processor voltage next one is ground next to processor voltage next one is ground next one processor voltage next to capacitor ground in and processor voltage minus pin is ground plus pin is showing processor voltage next to capacitor minus is ground processor voltage Next to ground, processor voltage. Next to capacitor ground, processor voltage. Next to capacitor ground, processor voltage. All capacitors are showing processor voltage. Na? Now processor section perfectly working. Only for customer motherboard you can use this shortcut method. But here we are learning. So that's why always check from starting on course. Don't use a shortcut method. Only for customer motherboard you can use so this is the processor section. Now if you have any doubts, ask me in processor section.